In this video, I want to do an example where we predict whether a precipitation will occur when two solutions are mixed. So we have 100 milliliters of 2 decimal 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar lead nitrate solution being mixed with 50 milliliters of 6 decimal 0 times 10 to the negative 3 molar sodium iodide. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to identify what that precipitate will be if it does form. And, and by looking at a solubility table, we know that the precipitate will be uh, lead to iodide. And if that lead to iodide is formed, then it will be in equilibrium. It will form a solubility equilibrium with with lead to i with a lead to ion and two iodide ions. So when we do these problems, what we want to do is we want to look at the reaction quotient because the reaction quotient takes into account the concentration of each of the species, the aqueous species at any point in the reaction. And the numerical value that we get from the reaction quotient will compare it to the KSP value for this equilibrium. So it seems like a lot, so we'll just uh, go step uh, one step at a time. So the KSP value for this for the above equilibrium is uh, for lead to iodide is 8.5 times 10 to the negative 9. Um, and the equilibrium expression and the reaction quotient, um, which use the same expression, are equal to um, the product of the concentration of the lead to ions and the iodide ion squ squared. So, so we already know the KSP value for this reaction, and we have to compare. We just have to compare the the reaction quotient Q to that uh, KSP value. And if Q is larger than the KSP, then we know that a precipitate will form. So we just have to determine now the concentrations of the lead two ions and the iodide ions um, after the solutions have been mixed and input them into the reaction quotient. So I, I think this, this should be pretty straightforward now. Um, the only calculations that we really need to do is we have to determine the, con the equilibrium concentrations of these two ions. And we know, that, um, we know that they will not be the same as the initial concentrations of the ions because the volume of the solutions have changed after they were mixed, which consequently affects the concentration. So we'll do some calculations where we calculate the concentrations of the lead to ions and the iodide ions at equilibrium. And these calculations are quite simple to do. Um, we, we know this relation. We know that the initial concentration multiplied by the initial volume is equal to uh, the final concentration times the final volume. Um, so we can rearrange for the final concentration um, such that the final concentration is equal to the initial concentration times the initial volume all divided by the final volume. Um, and the final volume when after the solutions were mixed is 0 0.15 liters. So if we calculate the final concentration of the lead to ions, um, we see that the initial concentration, C1, is equal to 2 decimal 1 times 10 to the negative 3. Um, 
multiplied by the initial volume of 0 decimal 1 liters all divided by 0 decimal 1 5 um, and that gives us a final concentration of lead of the lead to ions equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. And we'll do the same again for the iodide ions. We had an initial concentration of 0 decimal 0, 0, uh, 6, 0 moles per liter. Um, an initial volume of 0 decimal 0, 5, 0 liters. And the final volume is 0 decimal 1, 5 liters. To give us a final concentration of 2 decimal 0 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter for the iodide ions. Um, and of course, we just substitute this into the reaction quotient, Q. So Q, Q will be equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 times 2 decimal 0 times 10 to the negative 3 squared. Which gives us a value, a reaction quotient of 5 decimal 6 times 10 to the negative 9. Um, and if we compare the compare Q and K, we see that uh, well, we know that K <coughs> KSP was 8 decimal 5 times 10 to the negative 9, and Q, which we just calculated, is 5 decimal 6 times 10 to the negative 9. Um, and we know that Q is larger than K, and therefore a precipitate will form.